couple more sections left before we're going to call it a day. Uh, going to jump forward to um, ongoing maintenance. So we've installed the scale, we calibrated the scale that first time, and it's working great. We're ready to go. Now we just have to make sure the customer knows that, hey, they have to do a little bit of maintenance to keep this thing humming along, just like anything else. You got to change oil in your car. You got to check the tires. You got to do all this stuff to keep the thing working properly. It's not a set it and forget it. You know, it depends on the application. Some applications are worse. Uh, you know, they have to keep an eye on the scales more. Sometimes they'll sit there for years and they don't touch them and they work great. It just depends on the application. Here's a couple examples. I mean, we, we've got uh, on the left, we've got a belt that's half ripped apart. I don't know how the material can, you know, if, if they're if they're saying this scale was inaccurate, I'm just like, how do you know the material's even on there when <laughs> when it gets to the to the scale? You know, on the right we've got a a roller that's been ground down, it's flattened out, and the belt's gonna bounce every time it hits that. So it's right after the scale. The belt's bouncing all day long. There's no way we're gonna get a really nice, smooth, accurate reading from that scale. We gotta have all those rollers nice and smooth. Here's one of my favorite pictures. A little bit of material buildup, you know, goes a long way. Well, this is a little excessive, <laughs> but, you know, material can pile up around the scale, you know, around the load cells, underneath of the idler, between the idler and the frame is one of the pinch points that you've got to be careful of. You know, a stray rock bounces under there. Well, that's easy to fix. Knock it out of there. It's working great. So, but somebody's got to look at it and, you know, and part of the thing is with Plant Connect, we can look at it a little bit and kind of get an idea like, hey, so it was working fine yesterday, last week, last month, whatever, something changed. Send one of your guys down there to take a look at it before I got to drive an hour and a half to, you know, do it myself or look at it myself, those types of things. But without a little bit of, of maintenance, you know, obviously the scale doesn't work the best long term. We got to check a few things. So we have a table that we've got in our manual. You can look at this if you're interested and want to see kind of some of the suggestions. They're kind of general, but it's just all about maintenance, keeping that belt running smoothly along all those idlers um, is the main thing. That's the, the heart and soul of the scale. If that's nice and smooth, crossing 